OK, this is my replication of Lid Motors Light Multiplier, and it's uh, spinning away nicely. Now, I've made one change from Lid Motors Circuit. I've used a 10K pot on the base of the transistor instead of a 23 ohm resistor. Now, I tried it with a 25 ohm resistor, and the current draw is 29 milliamps. So I've gone with a 10K pot, so I can turn it right down to 8 milliamps all the way up to 30. Now, I think the reason I've had to do that is these coils, uh, they're from a microwave oven. And they could have, uh, they, well, they could be made in China, Taiwan, or anywhere. And the ohmic resistance on the coil is going to differ from country to country, I'm sure of it. So that's why I've had to do that with the transistor, with the uh, resistor on the base. Anyway, it's been at about 1500 RPMs there. Now, I dropped that magnet this morning and took a chunk out the bottom of it. So it's got a bit of a, a daft orbit if I speed it up any faster than this. Now, lid motor's running here is at 17 milliamps. And uh, this one's running at 13. I can turn it right down with it because I've got a 10k pot, but it just likes to be at 13 this magnet because it's damaged. Now I'm getting a slight flicker on the uh, LEDs which are powered by that pickup coil, and that's probably due to the fact that it is uh, it's got a slight you know obcentric orbit that magnet very slight, but also the RPMs are probably slower than what lid motors got. And that's flickering slightly as well. But looking at these LEDs with the naked eye, they're steady, but they're only flashing through the camera because you know it slows it slows them down, doesn't it? Anyway, it's running at 13.1 milliamps, and that is uh, with the magnet in the presence of the coil. Now, lid motor circuit acts like a jewel thief. So this coil is actually like a standalone oscillator. I can move it away. And the magnet just keeps spinning, so it's not in the presence of the magnet. And there, it just sits there oscillating away with the LED nice and bright. Now, the current draw has now gone up to 17.2 milliamps. Now, I move it back in front of the magnet. And the current draw has gone down again, 12.3. So this is what's getting people asking lots of questions about this motor. It's really, really interesting to work on. Now, one other thing I can show you is I've got a piece of Perspex which I've put in front of the, uh, the coil there. Now, if I get a six millimeter sphere magnet and just drop it inside, that's spinning away inside now. I don't know if you can see it, but you can certainly hear it. That's spinning away there. That's just something else I found. You can use plenty of different rotors with this. You can use spheres. Uh, they spin really good. But uh, it's really interesting to work on. It's getting people asking lots and lots of questions. So thanks for sharing this lid motor. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.